Ladies and gentlemen, welcome to my, what will actually be my second attempt <clears throat> at recording some gameplay and starting a Let's Play series on The Legend of Zelda Ocarina of Time. Now, I am playing this on my PC. Um, it's kind of hard to, you know, vi visually capture of uh, uh, and a Nintendo 64 game, but this is the Nintendo 64 version. This is not the GameCube version. Um, um, I know I can tell right off the bat by it saying 1998 Nintendo instead of 1998 and 2000 Nintendo. But we're gonna go ahead and get this started. Uh, see, I had already look just to. I already tried this and I couldn't get the audio levels right. So that's erased. We're gonna start from scratch. Um, his name. <laughs> is going to be my dude um it just makes the game very chill and you'll you'll all see what i mean here at the end but let's give this a start and here we go our journey begins Now, I really don't want to read through the entire game. Um, if you're watching this not, nine times out of ten, I'm sure that if you're watching this, you can read already. I'm not going to read the cutscenes or the you know the dialogue to you, but I, I, I probably am going to skip through quite a bit of it. Um, obviously, this you can't skip through. <laughs> Excuse me. This, will, this is probably going to be pretty fun. It's going to be really, really cringy. I can tell you that right now. I always thought this cutscene was so badass because Ganondorf just like <clears throat> flies out of the castle. He just looks so menacing. Like, look at him. As a child, this is terrifying. And obviously, seeing Link be terrified is like, oh. No, I'm not doing this. Not today. Not today. Let's see what we got. I don't know, maybe... I don't want to start now, but maybe I will start reading. <clears throat> the uh the dialogue and the you know the the story just to just to immerse yourselves a little bit more i'm not going to do any voices or crazy stuff like that but um for so long the kukiri forest the source of life has stood as a barrier deterring outsiders and maintaining their order of the world but before this tremendous evil power even my power is nothing it seems the time has come for the boy without a berry to begin his journey the youth whose destiny it is to lead Hyrule to the path of justice and truth. Navi, go now. Find our young friend and guide him to me. Do not have much time left. Fly, Navi, fly. The fate of the forest, nay, the world depends upon me. When I was a kid, well, when my brother and I were children, about, I don't know, maybe seven and nine, I'm the older one, uh, <clears throat> I would used to make him believe that I could control this cutscene, like I was actually flying and controlling the fairy around the Kokiri forest, trying to locate Link, and it was, uh, honestly, he was so gullible back then, it was the funniest thing to me. I mean, every everybody has their own nostalgic stories when it comes to old video games, such as this beautiful masterpiece, but here we go. Let's get rudely waken up by some, you know, blue ball of light with wings. Hello! Hello, my dude! <laughs> Wake up! <laughs> the great Deku Tour wants to talk to you, my dude. Get up. See, it's everything. it just makes everything so chill. Like, I'm pretty sure later on in the game, somebody, um, you know, they, they all say your name. A lot of the NPCs say your name, and it's just really, really great. When just to see them say my dude, like it's just this game just becomes some stoner paradise. Mm. 
now that he's up. You finally woke up. I'm Navi the Fairy. The Great Deku Tree asked me to be your partner from now on. Nice to meet you. Nice to meet you too, you little ball of light. The Great Deku Tree has summoned you, so let's get going right now. Well, you're pretty demanding for somebody I just met five seconds ago. So this is Link's house. It's <laughs> literally just a tree like everything else. Um, when you... Ooh, I did not know. Hello. Change the view. Oh, that's nice. There's nothing here. Um, later on in the game, there are things that show up in here um, as your story progresses. Um, like, I know, I know at one point... Spoilers, but I know at one point... Um, there is a cow that's in here that I believe you can play a song and you can get milk and fill your bottles. But here we go, beginning the journey. This is Kokiri Forest. <clears throat> now, as for time allotment of the videos, I am going to be trying to keep them under, you know, under a certain amount of, or, you know, under, what, I think 15 minutes I want to try doing videos. But, Steven there, she goes, hi, my dude. Like, oh, also, sorry to be annoying, but Link is growing shrooms. And my speculation is that this entire game is nothing but a bad acid trip. And you'll understand what I mean. I mean, look at the cave drawings he's got on his tree. Like, it, that's what to me looks like a little dude with a sword and shield and fighting Godzilla. Like, what? What is that? And then... I... What? Did he shoot that out of his mouth? Is it gonna kill the little dude? I don't... I don't know. Let's talk to our main... Main, uh... Main squeeze piece over here. Miss Saria. Wow, a fairy. Finally, a fairy came to you, my dude. Dude just makes everything so chill. Wow, that's great news. I'm so happy for you. Now you're a true Kokiri, my dude. Is that right? The Great Deku Tree has summoned you? It's quite an honor to talk to the Great Deku Tree. I'll wait for you here. Blah, 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 blah. Look, she even... She, she totally... Navi, I don't want to talk to you. She totally likes you. Look at the way she puts her arms around her back and... Smiles. That waifu type shit. Alright. So. Without this all done. Um, we need to acquire us some currency. Some rupees. And we need, ooh, second one. And we need 40 rupees to get the shield. Um, over, over there, if you can see that cave start over there, I don't know who hasn't played this game yet, but if you haven't, it's 2018, it's, it's time. <laughs> it's way past time to play this game. Um, but over there is a, some, some self-centered jerk named Mido, and, uh, basically he won't let you pass to see the Great Deku Tree without a sword and a shield, so we have to... Oh, I'm having pathing issues. I wonder why... They're not pathing issues. I'm retarded. I'm having texture issues. I was wondering why there's no paths. Um, I, I don't want to do this shit. I want to... Alright, yeah, we'll go up here. I don't want to pick up all the rocks. It's very tedious. I could just go get the sword and do it that way, but this is... I don't know. This works for me. Um, I, I can't. I can get up there, can't I? Yep, look at that. Didn't know you can get up here, could you? Oh, I'm sure you did. I'm gonna slowly drop off so I don't jump off the damn... Like that. <laughs> Yo. It's a good thing I'm playing this with a controller. Playing this game on a keyboard and mouse just seems so impossible. I tried. And like without without like actually using a controller, it's it's just it's just you're just better off. Just just get a controller. It's so much more worth it. I believe this is the house where the chests are? Yes. Alright, so I believe we get like twenty rupees from here. Not like at once, but oh, there's one. Okay, thank you. Very generous of you. What's in here? You just oh, there's five, so that's six. I love how we just break into some random dude's I believe this is Mido's house, actually, so I don't really care. I steal all his stuff. He's a jerk. And five rupees. So, we need ten more rupees to continue. Um, and that can be done by making this jump here. And I believe there's another jump that you can do this. Do it this way. 
thought there was there's there's one here. I don't know what the um what the requirements are, I guess, or like what you gotta do for them to show up. But I thought there were two here. But I guess there's not. Like they're just I don't know. They show up when they want to, they're temporary. But um I believe there's pots in this house that we can break. And hopefully we'll net us the last five rupees we need. There's a green. And a blue. Now I'm going to have one rupee. I don't like having short change. I like exact change, ladies. And who doesn't like exact change? I don't like exact change. You're, you're a heathen. Oh, the store's right here. Now this chick is going to stop us. Yep. Hi, my dude. Look this way. I'll look at you all day. Waifu. <laughs> Look over here with Z and talk to me with A. Z, A. Yes, yes, that's how you use a fairy. It's so, just, like, derogatory. That's how you use a fairy. Like, what if she didn't want to be used? I know she partnered with, you know, partnered with me from the beginning, but that's just nasty. All right, we're going to skip through that. Because it's time to get the shield. Look this little dude. You can't... Hi. This shop. Wow, I hit B. Let's try that again. No, nope, never mind, I guess... We shall shields, but not shorts. Sally, shop owner, sells sea shorts down by the Deku shield. I don't know. Got a Deku shield. Yay! Equipment subscreen. All right. So press R to crouch and defend. If you press R while Z targeting, you can move while defending. Would you like to buy something else? No. This is highway robbery. Spent forty. Forty dollars. I'm gonna call them dollars, but forty dollars on a plank of wood. I mean, it's kind of real life, but really not. Um. Okay. Now to get the single most deadly piece of equipment in this game. Actually, the second most deadly piece of equipment in this game has to be the cock the uh, Kokiri Kokiri sword. Don't destroy me with the pronunciation of any of these areas, items, it, it it doesn't matter. We all grew up saying them their own, you know, our own way, and that's, you know, we're stuck in our ways, that's how we are. But, before I continue, I just want to talk about the physics of this boulder. What is that? How, how does a boulder just change its course like that? Look at that, that's ridiculous. You know, as a child, it baffled me. As an adult, it still continues to baffle me. You're gonna get out of here before you get hit. <laughs> All right, and right here, ladies and gentlemen, what is this sign? I don't think I've ever actually read the sign. Visit the house of the Know-It-All Brothers to get your answers to all your item-related questions. Nope, because the, uh, the chest is right here. What do we get? What do we get? What do we get? I know what we get. You know what we get. The butter knife. <laughs> You got the Kokiri sword. Yay! Now we can hack and slash. Come on. Come on. Yes, I can read. Thank you. Thank you. Alright, I love the squares because the squares indicate the end of the dialogue. Let's go right over here. Equip this bad boy. Save. Just because saving is a must. And let's wait for the boulder to roll by before we get hit. There it is. Goodbye. This way. Over her. I can slash, not get anything. And now it's on to talk to the great douche of the woods, Mido. And see, just just to ver or clarify how much of a douche he actually is, he calls himself the great Mido. Like, if he was so great, he would have the Kokiri sword. You know, and he wouldn't, you know... He was so great, he would be calling Link a wimp. And, and just, uh, he's just, he's a tool. He's right over here. I wish he could just dispose of him, but uh, uh, apparently that's, you can't do that in games like this. This is a child's game. Alright, this is Mido. Um, are you blind, dude? What's that? Oh, you have a Deku shield. And what's that? Act like you've never seen it before. You've been trying to get your hands on the sword for years. 
Mido. Even the town hall meetings don't let you look at this thing. Nobody likes you. Shoot. Alright, well, he said shoot. <laughs> Alright, here we go. First enemy of the game. And they're not really even a threat unless you just blindly walk into them. But this, ladies and gentlemen, is single-handedly the most powerful weapon in Ocarina of Time. It is the Deku Stick. Now, this thing, let me tell you, pretty sure, I, I, I'm not, I don't, I don't know if I remember correctly, but with a Deku Stick, you can one-shot or two-shot um, Queen Goma in, in, the, uh, in the Deku Tree, the boss of this, this area. Um, I accidentally hit the, the cutscene, but we're gonna just go through this cutscene. And the next video, we're going to be covering the entire Great Deku Tree dungeon. But for now, let's just do this. My dude, welcome. Like, look at, <laughs> look at that giant broccoli of a tree, and he just says, my dude, welcome. <laughs> it's so chill. Oh, this is totally going as the thumbnail of this video. Look at that. I love it. All right. Listen carefully to what I... Deku Tree, I'm about to tell thee. Thy slumber these past moons have must have been restless and full of nightmares. As the servants of evil gain strength, a vile climate pervades the land and causes nightmares to those sensitive to it. Verily thou hast felt it. My dude, the time has come to test thy courage. Hit the mighty blunt. I'm kidding. <laughs> I have been cursed. I need you to break the curse with your wisdom and courage. Dost thou have courage enough to undertake this task? Nah. Nah. No, I'm kidding. Yes, we do. Of course we do. We're big, bad seven-year-olds. Then enter, brave, my dude. And thou too, Navi. Navi the fairy. Thou must aid, my dude. And my dude, when Navi speaks... <laughs> I just can't. Use up to listen well to her words of wisdom. All right, uh, we're going to wrap up here, ladies and gentlemen. This is going to be the first of many of this series. Obviously, we all know how long this game is. It's really not that bad of a long, you know, long time, but this is going to this is going to be where I end it. Um, thank you for coming in. Thank you for watching. Thank you for taking the time to listen to me ramble on and run around as this little this little blue-eyed blonde-haired tunic wearing hacking and slashing little dude named my dude and uh hopefully i get better at this commentary thing and it's not just sounds like pointless rambling and and whatever but cut me some slack i'm trying this is, uh, not, not many people actually go out of their way to do stuff like this but that said this is almost 20 minutes thank you for stopping by my name is seth with auxiliary productions and we'll see you next time in part two